For this assignment, you're going to need the Cool Math Games Lemonade Stand. The link you'll find is in the assignment. You'll also need the Lemonade Stand Google Sheets, which you'll also find in the assignment. You're going to go ahead and go to an introduction. You'll select OK, and you're going to select 14 days to play. You start with $20, zero paper cups, zero lemons, zero cups of sugar, and zero ice cubes. You need to purchase these things here. You click on buy more cups, and you can buy as many cups as you need. You need to record how much you buy on day one and how much it costs. Because cups don't go bad, <clears throat> I'm going to buy 100 for 289 because I get a better unit cost, or each cup is less if I buy in large quantity. So I'm going to start with 100 cups, and I just bought it for $2.89. You must record your expense each time. I'll say OK, and then I'll go to lemons. It tells us your price per bundle of lemons. Lemons go bad, so you can't buy a ton of lemons like you bought with cups. I will buy, because the temperature is 90 degrees, I'm going to buy 75 lemons for $4.19. So I'll start with 75 lemons, and I spent $4.19 on that. Notice how much money you have left on day one of 14. Next, cups of sugar. Let's buy sugar. Sugar will go bad as well, but normally customers like sugar, so you can buy as much as you want or as little as you want. I'm going to buy 48 cups of sugar for $3.28. Start, 48 cups of sugar, and I spent $3.28. Next, I need to buy ice. It is a hot day. Ice does not last. So if you assume that you sell, I have 100 cups, and I buy 500 ice cubes, Cups, uh, 500 ice cubes, you need to be putting multiple cubes of ice into each cup. I'm going to go ahead and choose to buy 100 and then another 100. So I'm buying 200 ice cubes. I'm going to need to do the math for that. So I'll open my calculator. And to identify how much I bought. So 0.82 times two gives me a dollar and 64 cents. So I was able to buy 200 ice cubes for a dollar 64 versus having to buy 250 for 203. So I was able to save on expenses. Record a dollar 64. Notice here in total expenses out, it keeps track of everything you spent. So you started with $20 and you just spent $12 in all of your merchandise. You bought all your goods. You have $8 remaining. Now you need to figure out your price and quality control. You're brand new. It's hot day. You need to figure out how much you want to spend or you want to charge per cup. I'm going to charge 20 cents per cup. I'm going to keep it at four lemons and I'm going to put eight cups of sugar in. And I'm going to put two ice cubes in. Consider how much you have and how much how many cups you have. So price per cup is 0.2. I can't record how many cups sold until the end of the day. Lemons per pitcher are going to be four. Sugar per pitcher is going to be eight. And ice per cup is two. I also need to record the temperature in the forecast. Temperature is down in the corner. It's 90 degrees. And the forecast is sunny. After I've recorded all those items, the next thing I need to do is say OK and run the simulation. Do not change the price per cup. You cannot keep control, accurate control of what your, um, what your cup sold on per price. You can fast forward it instead of having to sit here and watch the time go by. Down here it tells you how many cups you have left, ice, lemons, sugar, and cups per pitcher. So it should do a pretty good job of keeping track of what you might run out of. I'm going to hit fast forward. This tells us our time of day. It is 
at noon, I have 55 cups left, ice at 110, lemons are 55, and sugar, I only have eight left. I'm going to run out. So at two o'clock, I ran out because I did not have enough sugar to be able to operate my stand. I should have purchased more. So from two o'clock all the way to five o'clock, I wasn't able to sell things. That's a problem. Although it did say I did a pretty good job, 60 out of 95 customers. If I would have had more sugar, I probably would have sold more cups. So. Underneath cup sold, I record 60. Then before I start the next day, I need to record my inventory for day one. So I've recorded the start. Now I need to record the end. So I say, okay, your remaining ice is melted and one of your remaining lemons is spoiled. So I ended the first day with 40 cups. I ended the first day with 50 lemons. I ended the first day with zero cups of sugar and I ended the first day with zero ice. Notice here how total expenses were $12. I sold up for 20 cents a cup. I sold 60 cups and I came out even. So I have zero profit. I did not lose money. I did not make money. Next, I go to the very next day. So I need to identify how many cups I need. If I was able to sell 60 cups, I'm gonna buy, make sure that I have at least 60 cups. So I'm gonna buy more cups. I'm gonna buy 100 more because again, cups do not go bad. So I'm going to start with 140 cups to start the day and I purchased that for $2.88. Price per cup went down one cent. Okay, lemons. I started off with 50, 75 lemons. I still have 50 lemons left. I used 25 lemons. I think I'm going to be okay. So I'm going to leave this at 50 and I'm going to put zero in here for expenses. Sugar. I bought 48 cups of sugar and I ran out with three hours left. I'm going to buy 68 cups of sugar. Buy 48 and buy another 20. I'll figure out that price now. $1.54 for 20 cups plus $3.34 for the 48. So I'm purchasing sugar for $4.88 or 68 cups of sugar. I don't want to run out of sugar this next day. Okay. Ice cubes. I was able to sell 60 cups at two ice cubes apiece. It's 95 degrees, it's cloudy, so I anticipate I'll be able to sell just as many. So I will buy 200 ice cubes again. So I'll have 200 ice cubes, and to determine how much I spent on 200 ice cubes, I'll multiply 79 cents times two, which gives me $1.58. Again, saving expenses instead of having to buy two fifty, dollars where I don't think I'd use that much. So $1.58, as a manager, I'm gonna start comparing prices. I spent less on cups. I didn't spend anything on lemons. I spent almost a dollar and a half more on sugar, and I spent less on ice. That's great. So my expenses have dropped after day two. We like to see uh, costs low, or expenses low. I've bought my supplies, all my supplies are ready. I'm ready to set my inventory control. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it at 20 cents. I'm gonna keep it all the way it is right here. So, point two, I wanna see consistency. I wanna see what it does over two days. Four lemons, eight cups of sugar, two ice, 95 degrees, and it is cloudy. I wonder if sunny and cloudy will make a difference. Then I'll hit OK and run the simulation. Again, 
want to go back to normal speed again. I want to keep track of the time. I want to keep track of my inventory and see how I'm doing. Again, maintain your price. Do not fluctuate on the price. It's noon. I still have 106 cups, 132 ice, 34 lemons, 36 sugar. I should be able to make it to the end of the day. At this time yesterday, I had run out of products. I have 82 cups, 84 ice, 26 sugar, lemons, 20 sugar. It's just before five and I've sold out. I've sold out of sugar again. So sugar is still a problem, but it's better because I didn't sell, I was able to sell for longer. I sold 80 cups to 88 potential customers. That's great. So here I sold 80 cups. And my revenue, or how much money I brought in, was $16 for a total profit of $6.66. My overall profit is $6.66. Your remaining ice is spoiled, and five of your lemons have spoiled. So, last thing I'll do is I need to record um, what I ended with. So, I ended with 60 cups. I ended with 13 lemons. I ended with four cups of sugar. And I ended with zero ice. Your job is to record through 14 days and try to make sure that you earn a profit. If you notice things are working well or working badly, please record those in your notes.